This is for Annie, uh, to whomever it may concern. Uh, I first wrote you guys a letter last winter when you guys were prepping to launch your, um, frankly, bigoted attack on my religion. Uh, and as you've kept up uh, unabated, I wanted to follow this with a personal delivery on video of um, my original communication because uh, your continued assault on my religion is uh, only escalating uh, the hate crimes that uh, have been being perpetrated against my religion. And, and at this point, I am um, honestly starting to get concerned about the safety of my family. Uh, so here, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, so just one of the documented hate crimes that these are hundreds, hundreds now of documented hate crimes that your uh, program has inspired uh, was uh, the incident that occurred in Austin, Texas, which I'm sure you are aware of where uh, a crazed fan of yours felt justified in plowing a car right through the front window of our Church of Scientology there, uh, narrowly missing the nursery that, uh, that uh, several minutes before had children in it. And uh, this crazed fan, was um, their only regret was that they didn't kill anybody. So, okay. So uh, I, have, I have friends there, and, and my friend who witnessed this was, uh, is also somebody with three kids, uh, like I have. So uh, my question is, when are you going to realize you've gone too far on this? Like, when, when are you actually going to come to your senses and go, wow, I've gone really too far? So uh, is, it, is it, I mean, my kids and I, we've already been verbally accosted by uh, passers-by as we're going into our church, uh, people parroting things that they heard on your show. Um, so, uh, what if somebody decides to do the same thing in Portland? Uh, and, uh, while my family is on our way in, they plow through the front window and, and, uh, plow over, uh, my son and my two daughters. Um, would you realize that you have any personal responsibility in all this then? I'm curious. Uh, in any case, uh, I want to give you now the, my original communication. I want you to actually see that I am in fact a real individual. I have a family. I've got three beautiful kids who have great hopes for the future, and I have great hopes for them. And um, I really want you to understand what it is that you are doing and what it is that you are communicating. So here it is. I, I really hope you listen here. So uh, my name's Tad Reeves. I'm a Scientologist. I'm a systems engineer for a major internet service provider. Uh, I'm a father of three, and I also happen to be the editor of the ScientologyParent.com website. Uh, I found out that your network has decided to air a series of shows to generate hate against my religion. And I'm not only outraged, you've made me for the first time ever genuinely concerned for the safety of my family because of the hate and the marginalization that you're looking to engender upon my family and specifically my children. So I run a website about Scientology and parenting. If you Google Scientology and parenting, it's the first thing that comes up. Uh, it's pretty obvious to the laziest and most incompetent researcher possible. I have interviews from dozens of Scientologists of what it's not like, not only growing up in Scientology, but what we actually do, how children are introduced to Scientology, how it is that we apply our religion in the household, etc. But very likely you never saw my site because you don't really care what Scientologists actually do. You never did. Uh, you're trying to create hate. But since you're going to tune me out and say that not, I'm being bitter uh, let me put this in other terms so you can see how vindictive and insidious your investigative journalism is. So what if you decided to do an investigative report on Jewish family life? But then, as opposed to talking to actual Jewish families, you will only talk to former Jews, specifically those who were thrown out of their congregations for illegal activity and who now specialize in uh, and make their livings from doing paid anti-Semitic media appearances. Let's say you also then characterized anyone saying anything good about Jews or Jewish life as being totally brainwashed, quote, end quote. How well would such a program be received? Would you have second thoughts about attacking Jews or are they like minority enough for, for, you, for them to be a safe target for you? Um, or let's say you decided to do an investigative report on the real story of what working at Google is like, but then you only talk to a handful of people who were each and every one of them fired from Google for either total incompetence or gross violations of company policy, and all of whom make a living now only from their media appearances where they denounce Google. Now, suppose you also had current Google employees and representatives who were lining up, eager to tell their story about what it's really like at the company, but then you label them all as biased, 
And anyone who tells a favorable story of how, what it's like to work at Google is being obviously brainwashed. Or how about you investigated what it's really like at Yale University because you heard it was bad, and so you interview only students who had been kicked out of Yale for unacceptable behavior or bad grades and specifically avoid speaking with any current students, successful graduates, or current faculty, and label them all as like biased or obviously brainwashed by the school. And this is the same as what you're doing to my religion. You're preying on the fact that my religion is a minority religion, poorly understood by the general public, by making it much more poorly understood. You're very methodically trying to marginalize and justify ill treatment of any current Scientologist by insinuating that anyone speaking positively about Scientology is only doing so because of some unnamed undefined magical mind control technique, like somehow when you walk into a Scientology church, some guy sneaks up to you and touches the scepter of Loki to your chest and you magically have to like, like Scientology until you do a sufficient quantity of outright theft, unethical behavior, and sexual misconduct that you're finally able to like think clearly and speak truthfully about the church. That reasoning is insane. You're giving a platform to people who specialize in untruthful revisionist history and whose lies are so easily disproven by the most casual research. I've been a Scientologist for over 30 years. I grew up in a Scientology family. My parents didn't smoke, didn't drink, except for maybe New Year's. My sister and I grew up understanding that being happy in life meant living life morally and responsibly. Our moral code, which I'm sure you know is the way to happiness, teaches that one take care of oneself and others, that one doesn't do, dr do drugs, doesn't take alcohol to excess, uh, that one isn't promiscuous, one seeks to live with the truth. We're also taught always to live with personal integrity and that our own ability to look and decide for ourselves was among the most important things in life, period. I decided for myself that I wanted to be a Scientologist. It's not something that every kid does in a Scientology family, but I sure did. Uh, I took courses at my local church, which taught, taught me to be a better and more effective student, a better and more effective communicator, how to be more ethical, how to be a more responsible member of society. My sister and I have never taken any street drugs in our lives. Uh, we both got married in our early 20s to spouses that we're still with. Uh, we don't drink. We don't watch TV, which I'm sure you probably classify as criminal behavior. Uh, and I spend as much time as I possibly can outdoors, exploring the world with my kids. Uh, and in a climate such as the one that we have today, where we, as a society, struggle with teen drug addiction, with violence, with promiscuity, with a general lack of morality, I was glad to grow up in the family that I did, and that I was given the opportunities that I was given. So why would you attack a religion that is so obviously dedicated to making moral, drug-free members of society? For my own children, I want them to grow up to be powerfully independent thinkers, to be able to evaluate information for themselves, to be moral, ethical individuals of great personal integrity who are able to choose and be successful in whatever endeavor they undertake. But I will do everything in my power to ensure that they are not bullied, harassed, and marginalized for their religious beliefs or the religious background of their parents. I hope you'll come to your senses and at least make an attempt at balancing your obvious agenda to create mistrust, hate, and a new generation of bigots. Sincerely, Ted Reeves. So, hopefully that came through to you this time. Hopefully somebody was listening. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you.